Hey there folks, Michael Lyon from DoYouConvert.com and yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I'm wearing a suit jacket. I thought I'd dress it up for this week's video, but I'm popping the collar too. I, I'm trying to be hip. I don't know how that works. But I wanted to talk with you about something and I've been running into this more and more with the builders I talk with. As we look at the online sales program and the pieces of the puzzle, the first one I always talk about is the website. And for many people, the recommendation is you need to build a new website, you need a redesign, you need to add these features, functionalities, and that's going to cost money. And you see people start to, you know, pucker up, you know what I'm talking about. They go, oh, I just don't want to spend any more money. Or they say, Mike, we just redesigned a year ago, we just redesigned two years ago, we spent 15, 20 grand, 5 grand this year. I don't want to spend any more money on this. But let's look at the fundamental difference of what's happened in consumer behavior. It used to be, have your model home set up, your traffic would walk in the door, you could see 20 to 30 people coming in per week, per model home, maybe it was more than that, and you spend all this money keeping this model home because that's the only place they can gather information. Well, what's happening now? Less people are coming in the model home, it's a quarter of what it was before, 10% of what it was before, yet online traffic has increased. And if you look at the numbers of what some builders might have, even small builders, one, two, three, four model homes that they're constantly having open and furnishing and paying the bills on, that can turn into thousands and thousands of dollars per month. I mean, one model home starts at two grand a month to keep open and goes to five grand. So you'll see a lot of builders spending more in one month on model homes than they do on their website for three years. Yet most of the first visits are on their website. So do you see what's happening there? There's a big disconnect. Now, I'm not saying shut down all your model homes. Please don't misunderstand me. But do you need that extra model home open? Or when you're justifying the expense of a new website design and the continual investment, you need to put it on the same line item that you do other operational costs. And that's a big difference. Steer clear of having to pucker up and being tight where it doesn't make sense. You always have to watch your money. But ultimately, customers are spending time on your website researching you and hopefully they're not disqualifying you. So you know, internet years, they're like dog years. If your website's more than two years old, it's time to start thinking about a refresh, a revamp, and don't be too tight with your money when it comes to places that make a huge difference. If you were just to pick one marketing source to invest a good amount of your money, it would be the website because it can be used so many different ways. It's, you can send it via email, on the phone, you can talk about it, you give them the information, it's on the brochure, it's on your business cards, it's on the letterheads envelopes, it's on the invoices, you name it. The website is one of the best investments that you can make. So, hope that helps. Um, please do leave a comment about the suit jacket. I just thought I'd dress up. That's all. I just want to dress up. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk with you soon.